What up, it's your boy Watonio back with another video. Now I've been a lot of good music coming out this year, followed by some dope mixtapes. So today we gonna count down the top 10 best mixtapes of 2017. Let's get into it. Hey, you remind me of money. I can't waste no time. Now coming in at number 10, we got Lando's Don't Let Yo Hear This. Now this mixtape had a lot of potential and I feel like Lando for the most part delivered on this tape. Now while I do think some of the beat selections could have been better, it still was a well put together tape and had some dope artists featured on it. I do feel like Lando could have done better, but like I said, the project as a whole was dope. Now for number 9 is Team Eastside Lil P, 90's baby. Now Lil Perry I feel like it slept on a lot, but this tape really stood out to me. Mainly because I feel like it got that raw Detroit old Team Eastside feel to it. Especially in the song Picture featuring Peasy. It really felt like a Team Eastside bag life mixtape when I listened to that song. And his beat selections on this tape were solid. Next for number 8 is Rocky B, Rocco. Now Rocky had a great year this year, and I feel like this mixtape really reflected that. She had her ups, she had her downs, it seemed like one minute everybody was rocking with her, then the next everybody against her. And she gets real emotional on this tape with songs like B-Style, but then back raw with it with Vindictive. She's also very versatile on this tape as well, as you can hear, she gives us some more R&B hip hop records like With You, and she does it well. Now with number 7 we got Babyface Ray Trillis. Now this tape for me was dope. While I do feel like he should have added some more of his hits like Legends to it, it still had some bangers on it that made me like it. The first track My Thoughts being one of my favorites. Number 6 is Band Game Mazo's God's Boy. Now Mazo came out strong this year with the intro to God's Boy. It was raw, it was powerful with a dope video to match shot by Jerry PhD. And the mixtape to follow didn't disappoint. Mazo is good at putting together a good body of work and he definitely did that with God's Boy. My love. Next is Joseph Me Fashions Check The Score for number 5. Now Joe really did his thing on this tape. He had some of the dopest artists the city had to offer on it. Not to mention it featured his biggest hit Raw, which as you know he did a part 2 of. And it also had some funny commentary in between the music from comic J Will that really made it stand out in a creative way. For number 4 we got Team Eastside Peasy Wintertime Grind. Now Peasy really blessed the city with this one, just in time for grind season. This was a real hustle music type of mixtape and Peasy always knew how to put together a record. Now it definitely could have been longer with more music on it, but for what it was, it made some real noise in the city when it dropped. Now next for number 3 is Sada Baby's Dom. This mixtape is everything we want from Sada Baby. It's different, it's creative, it's dope. He makes every record stand out with his flow and the way he uses his words. Detroit music has never sounded the way Sada Baby makes it sound, and that's a good thing. Now in the number two spot, we got FMB DZ, I ain't gonna lie. Now I ain't gonna lie, this wasn't gonna be number two. It was actually gonna be a bit higher on the list, but after realizing the impact FMB had this year with some of the records features on his tape, he had to be moved down. FMB DZ definitely dominated this year. He took everybody by surprise, and this mixtape has everything we love about him on it. And for number one is Payroll Giovanni's Payface, easily the best mixtape of the year. Payroll has some of the most fire songs on his mixtapes and summer bangers like How We Move It with dope visuals to back it up, all mainly shot by Jerry Production. And with songs like Hoes Like, it made this mixtape more appealing to his female audience, which is something not a lot of Detroit artists think about. And Payroll being who he is, I think he knows that, and that's why this mixtape had to be number one. But that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. Let me know what y'all think about the list. Who should have been number one? Who should have been number 10? What spot y'all think who should have had? Who should have been on the list? Let me know in the comments below, man. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow us on our Instagram at CM Culture. Stay up to date with new posts and videos every day.